Today I want to show you what I would consider some of the essentials to diagnose any iPhone motherboard issues, and specifically the 12 series. This tool is called iSocket. It's specifically for the iPhone 12 series. It's a motherboard layered test frame, which allows you to set the bottom board and the top board together using this spacer. It'll allow you to test and make sure that you've been able to resolve the issue that you may have been dealing with without having to solder it back together just to simply test. Once you've stacked them on each other, you can simply click down the top and it presses it all together and makes that solid connection. This will allow you to test it. This is the iBoot power supply test USB cable. And this is the JCID battery fast charging board. While we work on our device, we can charge our battery and also view its cycles and battery health. I use the Sunshine power supply. I pair it with this Quan Li DC power supply and that same cable from earlier for the 12 series. Once I have all of that paired together, I can then push a power button and we can watch the phone boot up and we can check to make sure that it's booting up properly. As you become more and more familiar with these tools, you will be able to notice if the phone is booting up improperly by simply watching the arm move. Especially if there's a short where you'll see that arm, the arm slam all the way to full power where you know that there's a short that you need to track down on one of the main power rails. Now we can test the function and see if there's anything missing. The JCID multimeter is also a great tool with some really fine test leads that allow us to get down in there and test the pins. This tool also pairs with their schematic software, which is extremely intuitive. By simply clicking on the components, it'll automatically pull me over into the schematics where I can follow the, the lines and understand what's actually happening on the lines. And on the board view, I can see this, the values that I should be getting when reading with the multimeter. I can see where the lines go just like you can in, in a program like ZXW. But the nice thing is, is when you click on it, it automatically populates in the schematic where you are clicking on so you can understand what's happening in that circuit. In an upcoming video, I'm gonna be showing some really cool things that can be done with the GCID multimeter and this software. You can find links for all of these products in the description below. I know you'll find them useful. Thanks a ton for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Mobile Centrics is on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.